Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today we're going to be working with the brush tool inside of Photoshop to make some custom brushes using images. We're going to be making these diamond brushes. Now this is not like the diamond textures that I showed you how to create in another video. I'll link to that one as well so you can check that out in case you're interested in that. But this is more about um, creating a brush that simulates an actual gemstone. So you can use this for not just diamonds, but for rubies, emeralds, sapphires, whatever you need. And then all you have to do is change the color. So there is one thing I do want to show you about the coloring of a brush like this that is going to be a little bit different than a regular brush. So with a regular brush, and I'm, I have this brush selected right here, and I have a new layer up here. And I'm going to go ahead and paint some more diamonds here, but actually I want them to look more like emeralds, so I have this color. So it's like a bright green color. I'm going to click OK and then just draw them out here. And you can see they look OK. They're not great and they definitely don't have the shine that these diamond ones do. So the way I would do this is start off with white always. Just, you know, draw everything out that you need in the white color later on you can add the color in and let me show you how to do that so i'm going to just use this as an example just so we can compare this to the bottom one so i'm going to double click right here on the far right hand side to bring up these layer styles and i'm going to choose inner glow for this and you can see the difference between this and this you're getting much more shine here it just looks much more realistic and uh, much nicer. So this is why I always start off with the white base. This right here is gonna be the most important part. We're gonna use a blend mode of multiply. Our opacity is at 100%. You can bring this down depending on the look that you're going for if you want more you know, of a muted look. And then I'm using that same color here. You know, So they're exactly the same color, but you can just see the big difference in the way we applied the color. The only thing that you're going to change right here is just making sure that edge is selected. If you have center selected, you're going to get something that's a little strange. So just make sure that edge is selected and then you can just, you know, choose your color here. Just because the variation in opacity that we have with this brush, you're going to be better off just using a layer style to color it versus right here with the uh, foreground color. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Now let's go ahead and get started on making the brush. So I want to show you where I picked up the image that we're going to be creating. So this is the image and it is by Sabrina Rinquist. This is from unsplash.com. And all I did was type in diamond here, but I wanted to show you this because I wanted you just to see all of the different uh, variations that you could create. And then you could pick up this shape, you know, I mean, there's just so many different styles. You can even get something like this that looks more like ice and uh, make a brush like this out of it. This is a really pretty shape, but you get the idea. It's just a matter of grabbing the image and then bringing it over. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to come here to File, New, and I'm just going to start with a really basic document, 1000 by 1000, 72 resolution. You can bring your resolution up depending on what you're going to use this brush for. For this example, I'm just going to use 72 resolution. I'm going to click create and I'm going to bring over that image that I showed you. So I'm going to make this bigger because we're going to grab just one of these. So one of them will be off the canvas like that. Okay, so I'm going to leave it uh, like this because what I want to do is just grab this center area. Um, you can keep all of this outside if you come here to the layers and right click convert this to a raster layer. Just click rasterize layer and then you can come to the properties. It's going to be this right here or you can come here to windows and properties right there and then just click remove background. That's going to take the background away so you can use this as a brush. Now it's really important when you're creating a brush that your background is white. If your background is black, the whole background is going to become your brush. So I only say that because when you're testing this, or at least me, when I'm testing these, I typically test it on a black background just to check out the transparency of it and everything. So just remember to make sure that you're on a white background for this. So you can keep the brush like this or uh, you can do what I'm doing and I'm just going to take the middle section of it. 
So I'm going to just um, apply this really quickly. And I'm going to come here to my elliptical marquee tool and I'm going to choose that and I'm going to come here to the center. I'm going to hold down the shift key and the option key or shift and alt key on a PC and then I'm just going to drag this out from the center and then I'm just going to let it go. That's just going to create a selection. I don't want to delete this. I want to delete everything around it. So what I'm going to do is press command shift and the letter I and that's going to invert my selection. That's going to be control shift and the letter I on a PC and then I'm just going to hit delete to get rid of everything but this section. Now we still have a little bit right there but that's fine. You can get this perfect when you're doing it on your own but for the tutorial I'm just going to go ahead and leave that there. Okay so what we're going to do is just make a levels adjustment to this because it looks nice as a diamond as it is but what we want to do is bring out more opacity. So all of this light color right here is going to be translucent. So you're going to be able to see through it when you're uh, using this brush. So we want to minimize that as much as possible. So I'm going to press command in the letter L or control in the letter L on a PC just to bring up my my levels. And I'm going to bring my darks in a little bit as much as we possibly can. We want to get as much of that dark color as we can. The darker it is, the more opaque your brush is going to be. And this is going to be more important for um, like a scatter brush. I'm going to show you how to make a line brush and then also a scatter brush so and I'm gonna bring this out just a little bit but you want it as dark as you can possibly get it without making it look you know too crazy so we'll go ahead and leave it uh, right around there is fine and I'm gonna click OK now I'm gonna come up here to edit define brush preset this is my brush and I'm gonna click OK you can name it whatever you want this is just a demonstration so I'm not gonna do all of that. Now I'm going to come here to my brush settings. So it automatically is going to select the last brush that I created. So that's the brush that I have. And you can see it right there. Actually, let me bring this out. And I'm going to add a black background because I like to test it with a black background. So you can just add the black fill over your background color. And I'm going to add a new layer here. This is just so I can brush this on. So I'm going to bring down my size. I'm here in my brush settings. And if you don't have it here on the side, you can come up here to window brush settings. That's going to bring this up for you. Now I'm here in brush tip shape. And for the line brush, it's pretty simple. This would be like a string of pearls or just a string of gemstones. This looks really nice with rubies and with emeralds and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and change my spacing. So I'm going to bring that up to about 104. 100% is fine. And then I'm going to bring the size to about 150. So it's going to leave me a brush about this size. Remember I'm on a 1000 by 1000 pixel document just so you kind of get an idea of the scale of that. Now I'm going to come here to shape dynamics and for this one the only thing that I'm going to do is come here to angle jitter and I'm going to turn my controls to direction. So what that's going to do is just let me make those up in a line. So let me bring the size of this brush down so you can see it a little bit better. Can make it a little bit smaller. I like to use this type of brush as a divider. You know a lot of times I'll use it. I'll do something like this and then you'll have something up here, uh, maybe for a website or, or something similar to that. But uh, this type of brush I use a lot for dividing sections of a layout. So you can save this brush. I'm going to come back over here to my settings and I'm going to come here to uh, new brush preset and I'm going to save that. I'm just going to call it one. And then I'm going to make another one, but this time we're going to make a scatter brush. So I'm here in shape dynamics. For this one what I'm going to do is change my size jitter because I want it to look like it's raining diamonds everywhere. So I'm going to do that at 50% and I'm going to change this to pen pressure because I am on a tablet so that way I can get a lot more control on the variation in size and all of that. I'm going to turn the control off for this brush because we don't really want it going in a line. We want this to be very random. And then I'm going to come here to scattering. 
I'm going to click on both axes and I'm going to scatter this about 300. I'll leave it at three, 310 is fine. Now let me go back up here to brush tip shape and I'm going to bring this up to about 150. And then I'm going to space it out to about 150 as well. And this is just because I have that pen pressure set for my shape dynamics, my size jitter. That way I'm not getting some that are just a little too small. Let me move this over here and then I'm going to come over here and just test it out. But I just wanted you to see how that looks. See if I press it really hard, I'm getting those really big diamonds. If you're working with your pen, you can do just, you know, really light pressure to get those diamonds the way you want them. Okay, but I just wanted you to see these are all brushes made from images and all we did was change the levels a little bit to make sure that we get that dark color in there to just to increase that opacity a little bit and that's pretty much it these are pretty easy to make and they're very beautiful brushes so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like share subscribe leave me a comment let me know what you want to see next and also if you have ideas and tips on how to create these things better please leave me a comment down in the description. I love reading those and I'm sure that a lot of other people would benefit from that as well. And also make sure to go over to prettywebs.com for more design resources and tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching.